Look at me. I'm a farmer today. I'm going out and feed my chickens. Not yet. But I am a different painting today of a barn and chickens. You know, I was born on our farm and my dad had chickens and we had a lot of them. And it sort of tore, takes me back and I kind of wanted to paint something like that. And so that's what I'm going to do today. And I hope that you enjoy this because uh, spring is coming, I hope. So far, it's just trying to make appearance, but it's not here yet. And I, want, I hope you're painting today. I hope you feel like I do. Just get out that brush and just start painting. Doesn't matter if you're in trouble and you got worries, and which I have plenty of them, but I like to let it keep, keep me down. Don't let it keep you down. Just go to the, the, your art room and sit down and, and paint. And oh, that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to enjoy life. And that's what I do. At 94, almost next month, I'll be 94 years old. And I'm still chicken, you know? And I'm not going to give up. Not, not as long as I can paint. And I keep painting. And I hope that you do too. And so, let's start now. Uh, what you see here is a T-square. And I finally drawn the barn, and now I'm trying to be sure that my lines are straight. Um, I just do like this. I've done it already. I've checked it all out. Um, and it, you probably can't see it too good, but it's a rough sketch. It's not a real good sketch. But this is nice um, to use to get your wet line straight. So, um, I'm going to start probably right in here, and um, I'm going to be using uh, watercolor. Also, uh, whatever else I want to use, and I'll tell you as I go along. So let's get started. I'm starting with this 24 inch, this Hydra, Hydra's Fine Art, and it's in uh, uh, permanent red. I think I'm going to be happy with that red. Let's see. I'm going to put it on the barn here first, like this. Add a little bit of water to it. It's really very strong paint. I don't want to lose all my drawing though. Okay. Let's put a little bit, wrap it around. Just get started. Okay, first of all, I forgot to tell you this is a 30 by 22 arches, 140 pound. Uh, cold press, and uh, I've already put a little bit of the undercut. And uh, of course, this is going to have be all red anyway. It's not so easy painting buildings on a video like this. I'm filling in the red places. One in here. This is the gonna be the chicken coop right here. A different color. This is a rock foundation. 
like this. Just kind of filling in. Okay, I'm filling in just some basic colors. So I know where everything is here. You kind of lose it, you know, when you start in. Once you get it where you want it. You know, with a video like this, it's kind of rough. I can always put a little glaze of green. I feel in a little bit of, so I know where I'm going with this. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a green with a little bit of a yellow ochre, sap green, and um, I'm going to start bringing some color in the sky here. It's not exactly the color I want. Um, I want a little bit more of the green. green. That's a little bit too. I've turned upside down so I can do this sky over here. I don't know what you can do it, you know. And it's not the same color. That's alright. Let's make it a little darker. Whoop. You see, it's kind of hard to, to get to colors that you want when you're making a video. That's all I can say. And for what purpose, uh, what this is going to be, uh, it doesn't really matter. Because I'll, I'll just be changing it. You know me. Just put them in the sky a little bit. It's like Really green. Actually, the beginning of a tree's back in here. In case you want to know what I'm doing. I think I'll make them sort of like pine trees. Um, okay, now we got to turn it back up. 